Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Iron Torch 20, and it's uh, been a year since the uh, death of Muhammad Ali, and I uh, figure I might as well uh, show this game off. And this is a uh, let's see one for the uh, Game Boy called Muhammad Ali's Boxing, and it's uh, made by Virgin Games, and they did also uh, make a Sega Genesis version of this game. And then there's this. So then you get your uh, title screen. And then what you can do is you can do a, a single fight career mode or uh, continue an old game with a password. And then really with single fight all you're doing is just setting the rounds and then choosing your opponent. Uh, we are going to be fighting these guys anyway in career mode so they're uh, not really missing much. Uh, you can just reset the game by pressing A, B, start and select at the same time. And that's uh, standard for Game Boy. But either way, in a career mode, you get your options of uh, having management off or on. Um, I use the play of management on because uh, if you uh, play with off, then let's see, you just uh, fight your opponent one at a time and you don't get any passwords, and it does actually take a long time to uh, actually beat this thing. So we're gonna go with on. And you get your opponent's select screen, and let's see, I do like that, it's kind of like a Mega Man format with, uh, like, who you get to choose. And then with this thing, if you, uh, press select, you can, uh, shovel through different opponents and try and move up in rank. But the thing is, you do have to, uh, bet a lot of, or you have to bid more money to challenge them. And then, um, you see, you can only move up about three ranks at a time. And then uh, they either decline or accept it. So let's see, what I'm going to do is just uh, build up my money. So I'm just going to uh, show off one fight. And then with this, uh, what you're doing is you're the guy on the right. And what you're trying to do is just uh, beat the other guy. And then you can throw a right jab with A and a left jab with B. And then when you get close like that, you can throw uppercuts or you can throw body blows. And then... Really, body shots are good for slowing your opponent down, and then uppercuts are good for doing, a uh, big damage. And then the, uh, things in black that, uh, fades as your opponent gets hit, that's your opponent's health meter. And then your health meter. And then pow is just, uh, I guess, uh, how you're hitting. And I am going to explain, uh, more of the mechanics as we, uh, go on with this. But really, all I'm doing is just throwing a bunch of right hooks here. And then you do kind of have to manage your stamina here too, because uh, it's just easy for it to run out. And especially in this first fight. And then really what you have to do is uh, just get in a rhythm and then uh, just hit the buttons at the right time. And then I find that the right uppercut is actually the uh, punch that does the most damage. But I mean, body shots are good for disrupting their rhythm too. And then this first fight's always the hardest just because you're so weak. But see, I forgot to show that in the uh, opponent select screen, but... I mean, I'll get to it soon enough. I mean, just as soon as I'm done with this round. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back up here. That's because my health is getting kind of low. And this is the Let's Play Curse in full effect, ladies and gentlemen, because I uh, actually was wailing on everybody during my practice runs. Let's see if I can actually do something here. And usually, uh... And with these uh, other punches, I mean, body shots are usually stronger against uh, straight hooks. Or they usually get priority over hooks. And then uppercuts usually get priority over body shots, and then uh, hooks get priority over uppercuts. At least I think that's how that goes. Anyway, this guy's actually gonna make it past a round with me, so... It's just, uh, really based off of punches landed, and that's a way to win the decision. So that's, uh, really all you're doing for the gameplay. Um, I'll just see you guys when I'm done here.
And one thing I should mention is whenever that combo thing flashes, you press uh, A and B at the same time to uh, make sure you just uh, can knock the guy out. And we are going to be showing that off pretty soon. So that's uh, me winning my knockout. And I still end up getting hurt for some reason because, uh, I mean, that's just how this goes. I mean, just the more you get hurt, the uh, more you have to rest. So I think we'll, uh, go with this guy next. And then here you have your, uh, training menu. You can use the, uh, speed bag, which is good for, uh, one speed and one accuracy. You can use the, uh, jump rope, which is good for accuracy. Use the, uh, heavy bag for one strength and one stamina. And then weights for two strength. And then jogging for, uh, two stamina. And then with sparring, you don't really have to mess with this, but you can, uh, go in there and then, uh, mess with combos if you want, just to uh, adjust your combo. But either way, uh, let's see, I just had to improve my stamina as much as I can. And there is a cap uh, until you uh, reach a certain rank. Let's see, with uh, strength, of course, that's how hard you hit, and then speed is uh, how quickly you can punch, accuracy is uh, if you can break through blocks, and then stamina is how quickly you get tired. And then, of course, there's our uh, combo in action. Let's see, that would be right jab, left hook. That's how you know it's a jab, body shot, hook, and then knockout punch. And then you get your uh, gigantic password here. This is actually not that bad when you compare it to other games. But I'll just uh, see you when I'm ready to move up and rank. Alrighty, now that we're done with that, uh, let's go ahead and move up and rank. Let's see, we need to get to... I think the highest we can go is 26, so I think I'm going to try and go for 27. And then the problem with this is you do have to press select to uh, cycle through them one at a time. But, I mean, it's not like there was a better way to do this on Game Boy. Eh, he already moved up to 26, interesting. Okay, we'll go with this guy. I think we can beat him. So, let's see, we got about $85,000 to blow, so... Let's see, let's just start at 40. And it is kind of a, a negotiation game here because you have to, uh... Just, uh, bid the right amount without bidding against yourself. Okay, this is getting pretty annoying. And then there's some people that just won't fight you, period, so... You do kind of have to be prepared for that. And also to, uh, skip weeks when you, uh, hit your cap. You're, um, able to just press start. So I'll, uh... So let's see, I don't really think there's a whole lot else to talk about. I mean, uh, you get caps at, uh, 16, 24, 28, 32, and then 40. That's the, uh, best one you can have. But then you do have to be a certain rank in order to, uh, get past each cap. Of course, this is a lot easier when you're maxed out. And then when they uh, get back up, uh, depending on their uh, stamina, it just depends on how quickly they uh, recover health. So we should uh, be finishing them off pretty soon. Let's see, with that said, I'll uh, probably just see you guys at the ending. Okay, so we are here at the... Uh, Ending ready to challenge to the top. And as you can see, we're ranked 3. And see, uh... Yeah, so we can fight Hitman Capelli now and try and take the title. Let's see, these are the two best fighters in the game. I mean, just uh, in case you do end up running into them at number 1. But, uh, the rankings are actually kind of fluid in this game. Oh, that said, let's just finish this off. And if you, uh... The reason I didn't go into sparring earlier is that if you do that, uh... You're, I'm um, not going to be finished at best. Instead, you're going to be finished at great form. So it's really best just to uh, not... Or just to leave that part alone. Let's see, as you can see, the uh, power bar is a lot higher. Let's see, in the uh, later opponent, you do have to um, TKO them in order to win. 
And that means I just had to knock him down three times before the round's over. Fortunately, these guys are pretty cooperative because they get back up pretty quickly. I mean, unfortunately, their health bar does fill all the way back up after uh, each um, knockdown, so that is just something to know. And I usually find the right hook to be the best punch when you're up close. Okay, I guess he's not gonna get back up. Never mind then. So that's just the animation of uh, us winning the title, so that's always good. And I kinda do like this whole newspaper thing. And then they have that still of uh, Ali screaming, I am the greatest, which is uh, definitely what he said before when, um, I forgot, I think it was after the fight with Foreman when he said that. I forget though. And that was after he uh, won the title back after uh, being in jail for not being or not uh, going to the army after getting drafted, which of course didn't really make much sense because uh, he should have been ineligible based on his IQ, which was uh, actually below 100. I think it was like 90 or something. But then you get your uh, ending here, and then there's of course a lot of text. And then you get your uh, credits here. This is actually a little bit quicker than uh, most other games. But either way, as for my uh, thoughts on this game, it's a pretty decent time killer. I mean, uh, I mean, it's uh, fun for a little bit to uh, like build up your character, and I kind of actually like doing that in games. But see, uh, with that said, I mean the gameplay is okay. It just has an age well. And then I'm sure these guys got paid well, I hope. Although I do like that above all you. Instead of saying like a whole basic thank you for playing. Although I actually really do like this uh, menu select screen theme. I mean, uh, if it's out on YouTube, I mean, it's, uh, that's, like, worth a listen to for, uh, people who do, like, Game Boy soundtracks. I mean, that's, uh, one thing, uh, Virgin did pretty well with their soundtracks. Let's see, uh, with that said, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.